Void time. It's very interesting day today, and I'd like to invite Priya to share more before we go into the word. So from today, remember the vision I shared? SLS, sons leading sons. So uh, God may have used me to birth beloved, okay? But beloved is about sonship. And so even the way it will function will be very different from the fivefold ministry. Fivefold ministry is where there's a pastor and so for years there's just one pastor and then maybe the pastor's son starts taking over or whoever there's another pastor and then everyone just comes and sits here <clears throat> and you're at the receiving end. But a son of God is a life-giving spirit. So if you want to inherit everything, you have to be doing what you're speaking and what is even in your heart, which is the truth, okay? So SLS is sons leading sons. So I'm at the visionary table, maybe doing things. And now you know that beloved Dubai also happened about, even as this vision came about. And now there are sons leading uh, sons in Dubai and on Wednesdays. Uh, just the way mom happened, mom came and shared for the first time on communion. I'll put up that testimony later on the group also. But if you've been sitting here more than a year, then you will get a call from us. And you will be asked to come here and speak, share life. There will be a little bracket given where you can, uh, you know, we'll tell you how that goes on, a, a, a word. And um, <clears throat> so today is the first day of that. Today we have Alistair, Rishi and Nirmi who are sharing the word. <laughs> Okay, and I'll tell you how we did it. <clears throat> so we made a temp group. I put them all three and I said, you are going to share with me what you will be speaking. The Holy Spirit will give you one, it'll be one word and you will come in one accord of what you're speaking. So, uh, and I want to show you how the Holy Spirit is so real. And the reason why we are doing it is because then, uh, you know, if I am only the one sharing, you'll get used to having, it's an example, your steak well done. And maybe someone likes their steak medium rare. And someone else likes the taste different. So there are different flavors. And you get accustomed to hearing the voice of the Holy Spirit than putting a face on Christ. Okay? So you'll realize even as they three are sharing, they're sharing the same thing. And it's just one word coming across. And then you know it's not PP speaking. It's Christ speaking. It's not Alistair speaking. It's Christ speaking. And today's the word that they're going to share, share on, resting yourself in the blessings of God. And all your testimonies today were about that. And so you already know that the Holy Spirit is already working. Okay? So let's give a hand for Alistair, Rishi, and Nirmi. Where's Nirmi? Nirmi, come this side. <clears throat> she will be sharing. So each one is going to speak on 15 minutes. Okay, and they're going to share and that word is going to be and so you're tuning your voice to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying. At the end, you'll realize it's one word. Just the way when you read the Bible, the Holy Spirit is speaking, they were different at different times. But when you hear it and when you read it, it's one voice. Okay, and there's a, just a flow in that. So I want you to see that next week. Uh, I might be sharing or I might put somebody else. But this is going to be how beloved is going to be. You've got to be sitting here, Preeti Nagi should be first on the list because she's the longest standing son with Beloved. She will be sharing is because now you're like coming into your identity as sons. Okay, so next time anyone comes in and asks who's the pastor, you can point to each one. That one, that one, that one. Okay, the visionary I might be, but uh, you know, your sons and Beloved. Okay, uh, so come Alistair. So let's put a big hand for Alistair. <laughs> Excited. Thank you, Priya. Hello, Beloved. So my name is Alistair, the, uh, she's already said it, but just saying it again. Um, so Beloved is amazing, life-changing church, and I'm excited to you know, start off SLS. Okay, so uh, my topic, our topic is resting ourself in the blessings of God. So Priya told me last Sunday that you'll be sharing next Sunday. So I was thinking what to share on, and the Holy Spirit began leading me. Because the biggest blessing I've got in this church is rest. That's the if one word I have to put it is rest. And then I came for Wednesday Bible study. It was all about rest. Priya asked me, "Are you ready for uh, Sunday?" I said yes because the topic is the topic is confirmed. It is now rest. And even today, actually, I think this is our largest number of testimonies in one go. All of them were all of them were rest. Yeah. So okay, I'll jump into it. So before we, uh, before we begin, let, uh, quiz time. So, what are the most famous psalms in the Bible? 
So even a baby Christian would know them or have heard of them. Any guesses? Okay, I heard 91. 23. So I got it, I got it. Psalm 91, Psalm 23, they were the most common ones, right? Everybody agree? Okay, I asked you all, I didn't make you all speak it. So, so hold on to that. Psalm 91, Psalm 23. Okay, so now uh, jumping into this. Uh, so we start off with 2 Chronicles 14. So another interesting thing, all my verses are Old Testament. <laughs> Not even a single one is new, all led by the Holy Spirit, okay? Just a minute. I'll So I'm going to read 2 Chronicles 14, Asa reigns over Judah. So Abijah rested with his fathers and they buried him in the city of David. Then Asa his son reigned in his place. In his days the land was quiet for 10 years. So I just took verse 1 to give you the setting. So this is this king called Asa, he reigns after his father died. Next, verse 8, and Asa had an army of 300,000 men from Judah who carried shields and spears. And from Benjamin, 280,000 men who carried shields and drew bows. All of these are mighty men of valor. So if you add them up, uh, 200, 300,000, that's verse 8, first line, 280,000. So 300,000 is basically 3 lakh. Okay, and 280,000 is 2 lakh 80,000. So if you add them up, he had an army of 5 lakh 80,000. Okay, now going ahead, then Zira, the, verse 9, then Zira, the Ethiopian, came out against them with an army of a million men. So one million is 10 lakh, okay? So basically this army is twice what he has, approximately twice, because this is 5 lakh 80,000, this is 10 lakh. So basically he's outnumbered. It's not, you know that it's not easy to win unless you have very good tactics. But now here's what happens next. And Asa, verse 11, and Asa cried out to the Lord his God and said, Lord, it is nothing for you to help whether with many or with those who have no power. Help us, O Lord our God, for we rest on you, and in your name we go against this multitude. O Lord, you are our God, do not let man prevail against you. See, so I highlighted that word, rest. So I'll, I'll get into the Hebrew meaning later. So that's what he prayed. And then here's what happened. So the Lord struck the Ethiopians before Asa. So God took the first step, he already defeated them, so they must have already started running off. And, here's what, and it's written here, so, and the Lord struck the Ethiopians before Asa and Judah, and the Ethiopians fled. So probably before he even started fighting, they have already started running away. Okay? And, and Asa and the people, verse 13, who were with him, pursued them to Girar. So the Ethiopians were overthrown and they could not recover for they were broken before the Lord and his army. And they carried away very much spoil. So on read verse 14, in short, he won it. He basically beat an army twice his size easily. They already began running away. He just had to pursue them and take whatever they had. So he became rich, he won effortlessly. And all of this because he rested on the Lord. Okay, so that, that I bolded that verse. Okay, now go to the next one. Okay, yeah, so what I've done is the Hebrew word for that, so one thing is there are many, there are multiple words for rest in the Hebrew. Okay, this is just one of them. It's called Shan and it is mostly translated as lean on. So the Hebrew word is Shan but in the Old Testament it is translated into a different English words. So sometimes it is translated to lean on, sometimes it is rest, and sometimes it is rely. Okay, so now going on to the next one. Uh, so now we are continuing with Asa's story. So he won that battle, all good. After a few more years, 2 Chronicles 16. In the 36th year of the reign of Asa, Basha, king of Israel, came up against Judah and built Rama, that he might let none go out or come in to Asa, king of Judah. So now here's the thing, uh, a, a bit of background. So Israel was a single country under David. Then David's son Solomon came along. And after Solomon, he had another son, Rehoboam, who was a king. He did not follow God, so the kingdom was split. So Israel uh, was broken into two. One was called Judah, and the other was still called Israel. Okay, so background. 
So Judah, so now where we are in right now, Asa is the king of Judah and Israel is a separate nation to the north of it. So what this says is in his 36th year, the king of Israel, Basha, came up against Judah, came up against Asa. Okay, so keep that in mind. Which, uh, which country has come up against him? It's Israel. And he is the king of Judah. And what he does is he starts building one city called Rama. The reason being is Asa is very successful because he has been following God. So his country is very prosperous. So all the people in Israel start migrating to his country. So this king is getting scared, so he starts building a border kind of. So he doesn't want his people crossing over. In short, he's also preparing for war, you could say. So now verse 2. Then Asa brought silver and gold from the treasuries of the house of the Lord and of the king's house and sent to Ben-Hadad, king of Syria, who dwelt in Damascus, saying, Let there be a treaty between you and me, as there was between my father and your father. I have sent you silver and gold. Break your treaty with Basha, king of Israel, so that he will withdraw from me. So now you have to think, there's another king, the king of Syria, Ben-Hadad. This king is in a treaty, in a relationship, covenant with the king of Israel, Basha. Okay, and Israel is right now not following God, only Asa is, Judah. So they have a treaty. So what now, what Asa does is, he takes gold, silver, whatever he has, he sends it to the stronger nation. Syria was a much stronger nation. He says, break your relationship with this king of Israel, support me and, and uh, just, just don't support him, Supp don't support Israel. And so what happens is, so Ben Hadad heeded King Asa, verse 4, and sent the captains of his armies against the cities of Israel. They attacked Ejon, Dan, Abel, Maim, and all the storage cities of Naphtali. Now it happened when Basha heard it that he stopped building Rama and ceased his work. So it was successful. Whatever he did was successful. And then King Asa took all Judah and they carried away the stones and timber of Rama, which Basha had used. And with them he built Giba and Mizpah. So very successful tactic. What he did is, and very, so when I read this, I was impressed. I liked it because today people in positions of power, they, they, are, they all run after, most of them, they go after money. They won't care about the common man. But this guy, he, he, he didn't want war. So he saved his country from war. He took the money instead. He gave it to the partner of Israel's king. He sent money. So he cared about his people, you could say. And he avoided war, he, but he lost the money. So that guy, he breaks his partnership with Israel. And he starts fighting against Israel only. And the king of Israel backs off. But what is interesting about this is that it, was, it displeased the Lord. So, and that's what was very interesting to me and that's the key message in that he wanted Asa to rest. So now if you go to the next verse, verse 7, and at that time Hanani the seer came to Asa king of Judah and said to him, because you have relied, so now the same word, relied, okay, the same word which was rest in the previous verse, because you rested or relied on the king of Syria, Okay, before this, so which army was against Asa? Was it Syria or Israel? Israel, right? So just hold on to that. Because you have rested on the king of Syria and have not rested on the Lord your God, therefore the army of the king of Syria has escaped from your hand. So what is he saying now? He, did he say Israel or did he say Syria? So here's what happened. So Asa, when, when Israel came against him, he reacted quickly. He didn't wait or rest as last time. He just made a quick decision. He, so he kind of, you could say, got stressed or anxious, took the money, finished it off quickly, sent it out. Uh, it was very successful. He got these two fighting each other and he saved his country. But here's what God says. He said, you didn't rest. You relied on him. And guess what happened now? The, king, the army of the king of Syria escaped from your hand. So in, actually in the initial chapter, Syria was nowhere. It was just Israel who was against him. But God knew the future. What God was saying is, if you had just rested, you would have, you would have entered into war. He would have supported him because they are in a relationship and both of them would come against you, but eventually you would have been a winner. Because he doesn't say that the king of Israel has escaped out of your hand. He says the king of Syria, when he was nowhere in the picture. So what God wanted from him is, you just had to rest don't make any hasty decisions. And that's the key point in that rest is different for different people. So be led in that. But the core of it is don't be anxious. Don't be worried. Okay? Don't worry. Don't, don't uh, 
overthink it. Just back off, be calm. So if like, for example, someone comes and says, okay, you have to make this decision today, right now, uh, this is a good discount, this is a good deal, make it quickly. Don't be hurried into it. Take, it, uh, take your time. So don't be hurried into anything because that, uh, if it's a good deal, it will always come later. So I always reminded of uh, Hebron's testimony. So he, uh, he said, I, this is my demand, this is my, what I want. So the HR said, this is not happening. And after one month, they came back to him and like, please, please join again. So it's like he didn't, uh, he could have, okay, they were giving something more than what he had, he, they were not giving what he asked, but they were giving more, some, but less than what he had asked. He could have, if he was hasty, he would have taken it. But now he held on and then they came back to him. So that's the key word here. And now uh, verse 9, because, sorry, verse 8, were the Ethiopians and the Lubim not a huge army? So this is referring the previous victory he had where he beat them twice his size. With very many chariots and horsemen, but because you relied on the Lord, he delivered them into your hand. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is loyal to him. Okay? And in this you have done foolishly. From now on you shall have wars. Okay, so now to put it in light of the new covenant, because this is Old Testament, what he is saying is, Lord, the Lord wants you to rest. He really is, gets happy, excited when you rest. He wants you to rest and he is excited to do good things for you. And this is, the, this is the verse. It says, the eyes of the Lord run to and fro. So he is searching. In the Old Covenant, in this language, he is basically searching. Is there anyone who can rest on him? Is there anyone who can depend on him? And that's, that's the meaning of But now you may say, oh, wait, I don't see the word rest in verse 9. Okay? It just says the eyes of the Lord are running to and fro to show himself strong, right? So now that's the beauty. So that's what the Holy Spirit showed me because I like to search and play around with the Hebrew words. So what I'm going to show now is the eyes of the Lord run to and fro, right? He's searching for someone who can rest. Even though the rest is not mentioned in verse 9, although you will agree that he's searching for someone to rest. So I'll show you now, next. Go to uh, Exodus 20.11. So now, in, in six days, the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Therefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. So I bolded, I made that word bold, rested. So now that word, just a bit down. Yeah. So that word rested, right? It's... In Hebrew, it's Nuach. Okay? Yeah, keep it here, keep it here. Uh, of course, the next verse is a kind of spoiler. So, the rested is Nuach. What's interesting is the name Noah is derived from this word Nuach. So, it's the same word essentially. Okay, so what I was trying to say is the eyes of the Lord are searching for rest, right? So, if you see Exodus 20, what it says, the Lord rested at seven days. So everybody agree that that word is rest. Right? Based on the context itself, that is rest. And that word rested is Nuak. Okay? And this is the same word which is the name Noah. So, now I'll show you the next verse. Now you can go on. So that brings it together. And Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. So you can see it. Noah itself means rest. Rest finds grace in the eyes of the Lord. So he's looking at, he's waiting for someone to rest. So it's hidden in the old. And you can see it. So yeah, but credit to Joseph Prince. I heard it from there first. <laughs> yeah, so rested is, he, had, he preached on this. So the word Noah is rest and that's what the eyes of the Lord are looking for. To put in new covenant, he wants you to rest. He's waiting for you to rest. He wants to show his goodness to you and when you rest, that's when his goodness just flows in your life. Okay, now going into another part. Uh, so for, for me, what I, what I can say personally is, so I got saved in 2012. I was part of a traditional church and uh, my auntie uh, introduced me to these preachers on Daystar, God TV and I was hooked onto them because I always wanted to, uh, to be healed because I had a lot of uh, issues going on at the time. The key one was I had issues with acidity. And so uh, I got hooked on and I began watching. And what they are, the concept of theirs was to speak. So you speak to your sickness, you speak to your body and you declare. And it was correct because it was then the word of God. And uh, so I, I did that. I kept on, I read. But the thing is that requires, 
It requires an effort on your part. Now, it is not a box because you are saved by grace, right? You are forgiven. But it requires an effort, like you have to speak. And I always felt condemned, like, okay, you're not speaking enough. The symptom is not going. You're not reading your word enough. So it was a battle. It was always a battle and some days you feel down, that, okay, I'm not done enough. Some days you feel, oh yeah, I've, I've said a lot, I've spoken so many verses, blah, blah, blah. And so it's like a battle, going up, down, up, down. And then when I was introduced to Priya in 2020, around, so my sister began watching her first and then sh she also said, you know, watch this. And uh, first it was like too good to be true, like it can be, you can uh, not open your mouth and be healed. <laughs> because I was so in that, uh, but the, the thing is, I knew it was the truth. I can't explain it, I knew it, but I wouldn't admit it. Because it's the Holy Spirit in you, you hear it and you just know that it's truth. So then I kept watching, I kept watching, and, uh, and that's it. And when I came here and for the first time, it was in Regal. I, the first Sunday I came and physically and I said, that's it, this, no, I'm going nowhere else, this is it. So it's, it's there in the inside, you know it. Uh, you, so that's why you don't have to force someone to say something. You just sow the seed, they know it. Eventually it'll come out. Yeah? So, so that's what, that, that, that word, that rest. And so now what I do is whenever, I get, whenever symptoms come in, acidity or whatever, I just rest. I don't even say anything. I don't know when it goes also. So it's, that's the beauty of it. You don't have to speak. It, it works. And, and it, that's what the word shows. And su surprisingly, it's the Old Testament. I didn't aim for all Old Testament verses. All of them happen to be Old Testament. So rest has been written in the Old Testament way before, right? So going to the next part, uh, this is Psalms 110 verse 1, okay? The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. Yeah, I can put it up. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so the Lord said to me, so this is spoken by David. So he says, the Lord said to my Lord, okay? The Lord is God. My Lord is Jesus. So he's saying, God is telling Jesus, sit at my right hand and I'll make your enemies your footstool. So the new covenant, we are as Jesus is. As he is, so are we, right? So basically what God is telling us, sit. Just sit at my right hand, all your enemies will be your footstool. So all you we have to do is rest. Don't be anxious, don't worry, the situation will resolve itself. Now rest will be different for different people, so you'll be led in that, right? So now this sit is uh, the Hebrew word yashab, is translated into different words. So the key word is yasha, but in English you'll find it as sit, sometimes you'll find it as dwell, and sometimes it is inhabit. Okay? Now go to Proverbs 20 verse 8. So it says, a king who sits on the throne scatters all evil with his eyes. And that's amazing because it's not in saying he does something, he fights, he goes and shouts or it's just saying he sits on a throne and he scatters all evil with his eyes. I mean, that's beautiful. It's like, it's Old Testament, but it's still rest, right? Then there's Ruth 3.18, again, credit to Joseph Prince. But it, so what happens is that word sit, that's the same one. So if it's bold, it's the same word, okay? So that also is Yashab, Proverbs 20 verse 8. Now Ruth 3 verse 18. Uh, so, a quick background on Ruth. So, Ruth was not an Israelite. She was from this country called Moab. She married an Israeli man. And uh, she then, uh, they, they, there was a famine in Israel. So, they, the whole family left and went somewhere else. Her husband dies. And then she and her mother-in-law come back to Israel. Now, uh, her mother-in-law directs her to uh, propose this man called Boaz. And she follows her instructions faithfully. Now, once she has done everything, she comes back to her mother-in-law and she has done everything. So, she has done what her mother-in-law told her to do. And now, the mother-in-law says, my your work is done. All you have to do is rest, relax. Same word again, Yashab. She said, sit still, my daughter, until you know how the matter will turn out. For the man will not rest until he has concluded the matter this day. She's talking about Boaz. So, what Ruth did is she proposed to Boaz and Boaz has to now settle something because there's actually another closer relative. So in, in, the, in, in uh, Israel, what happens is when your husband dies, the closest of kin can marry you. And so what happened is 
Boaz was not the closest of kin, was the closest of kin. There was another relative more closer to Ruth. So even though she wanted to marry Boaz, she couldn't because unless this man gave up his the rights, correct? So that's what uh, the mother-in-law told Ruth. You sit still because he's not going to rest. He'll fix it for you. And Boaz is basically an image of Jesus. So what God is saying is you sit still. He won't rest. He'll get it done for you, right? And now what I asked you all right at the start, the two most famous Psalms, Psalms 23, Psalms 91. And this was, uh, so when I was searching for this, I was, so normally when I like to search for the words, uh, but then sometimes you get bored because you search, 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 and you don't get anything. But this was the rest. I just did a few bits of, no, I just was led to search and I got amazing gems. And even I was like, wow, this is amazing. Psalms 23, Psalms 91, again, rest is hidden in your, the two most famous Psalms. And I didn't expect that. I, was, I thought it would be some other Psalm, but it's these two. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will sit. That dwell is the same exact Hebrew word as sit. I will sit, dwell, doesn't matter, it's the same word, in the house of the Lord forever. Rest is there in Psalms 23 also. And another one, bonus. So Psalms 91, the very first was he who dwells, that word is the exam said word as sit, it's yashab. He who sits, he who rests, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So Psalms 91, the first verse is saying rest. That's it. All the rest of the words, you don't have to do anything. So if you go home, read Psalm 91, the rest of the verses below verse 1, they are all what he's doing for you. No plague shall befall me, no evil shall come before my, right? All of that is he. The first verse is you and that's rest. So, and I didn't know this. <laughs> Okay, I didn't know this. I didn't make this up. This is pure Holy Spirit led. Okay, and uh, he, I, I just did a few quick searches and I just got it. And I said, yeah, that's it. Sunday. Yes, correct. And that's it. It's, uh, it's there, right there. I mean, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me and I will rest. I will sit in the house of the Lord forever. Your job is rest. And it's been confirmed, right? Because all the testimonies, all of them rest. Everything is like everything came together perfectly today. So yeah, that's it for me. Wow. And <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Thank you so much. Uh, first, I think Sarojini auntie also said today for the first time. I also saying for the first time, I always look out for Sarojini auntie. I think we both share the same birthdays. <laughs> so I, I can keep this here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Alistair, he was super. <laughs> uh, actually, I would say that when Priya called last Sunday and you know, um, you Alistair and Rishi would share, uh, you know, this uh, words and is it okay? I said, yeah, I, everything was yes. So I was like, okay. And then we all three came to a common word rest and getting blessings from sun. So I would also, uh, you know, I would say that uh, how I came to Beloved is like uh, Rohan used to, Rohan was one of your old, uh, you know, where he used to come and um, listen to the Bible study on Wednesdays and uh, I think we, we started working uh, in Barclays and uh, he used to share everything to me, you know, I'm going to Bandra, I'm going on Wednesday, I'm going to Priya's house. I said, okay, 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 okay. Then he fell uh, for me and then he was like, <laughs> I was like, I gave him a very tough time. I would say that I would give, I gave him a very tough time saying no and saying yes and blah, blah, blah. And at one point he just gave up and he said, I'll rest now. He literally told me that I'll rest and uh, now do whatever you want to. You want to say yes or no, it depends upon you now. And then that's where I said yes to him. And then, then actually it is God who wanted me to come to Beloved. And, and from my entire family, you know, no one married outside a Guju family. And this was the first time that, you know, uh, Rohan came and he was, I was like, 
I don't know how my parents will say yes to him or something, but it was God's favor telling him and God telling him, no, I know, you know, you, you marry her and Nirmi will come to the beloved. So it was, it was all worked and play, blessed and planned and everything. So yes, I'll not take much of time. I'll go to, to the word. And it's all, again, my word also starts <laughs> in Psalm 23. <laughs> Uh, and it's, it's the common one, so okay, so it says that surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever, okay. So as we are fathered sons, okay, we are entitled to receive. Yeah, entitled to receive all the fav favors and goodness every time. We just have to rest and we have to and believe in him that we will receive all the blessings. So, so I would say whenever, wherever you go to a new territory or to a new place, you don't have to worry about anything. You, you know that you know all the favors will be in your direction. So I would just like to quote some few examples when, when I and Rohan you travel a lot, okay. So we, wherever we go, there is always some goodness and mercy following us. So uh, wherever we go, it's like the host themselves. So for example, we went recently to Pushkar, okay, and we were staying at one of the resort and we just went there and we were just eating our lunch, okay. The host themselves came to us and said that I hope everything is good and you, you are liking this uh, food etc etc I said yeah and then we decided you know uh, to extend one more day over there and uh, and Rohan went and you know I told Rohan just go and talk to him you know about extending one more day and if there is availability in your uh, hotel to extend one more day so he went and he told he said yeah, yeah I'll come back to you okay then uh, he didn't come back to us and we, we were chilling and then I told him, I think he has not come back to us, what should we do? And uh, then he said, uh, then he only called, the host himself called us and he told us that, the, you know, don't worry, I'll, I'll put you across and I will upgrade you. So, uh, the next day, uh, he, we said, okay, uh, he, the owner himself comes and, you know, we, we say that, okay, uh, we, we will, you know, extend one more day, but he doesn't say about anything about the upgrade part. I said, Rohan, did he not mention to you that he want to upgrade? So, he said, no. So I said, now what to do? I said, okay, leave it. I, I, we will rest and we will sleep, right? And let's see next day what happens. I said, okay. And we, we slept and we rested. And the next day, uh, we were just, you know, walking out to have a breakfast. And one of the waiters said, uh, sir, um, uh, you know, uh, the host or the owner has said that uh, they have upgraded you, so we want to shift your luggage to an, uh, an upgraded room. So it is like you have to be, you know, ev everywhere, wherever you go. It is not just in the church and in, in over in Mumbai, but it is wherever you go, the mercy and the goodness will follow you. And uh, and it's, it's, it's all days of life. I would say just rest and you will get the blessings from, uh, from Father. Uh, then I would go to Psalm 5, verses 12. Uh, it says, For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor you will surround him as with shield. So it's saying that if God is before you, who can be against you? Okay. And um, if anywhere you think in your life is, you know, you're getting into a trouble or some, uh, and some, you know, someone or some mother is going against you, you know that the righteousness, you are the righteousness and all things will be taken care of it. You, so I just, uh, you know, last time what uh, Sarojini auntie uh, said in her testimony, you know, that there was one guy in the building who was, you know, uh, causing all kind of issues and troubles but she rested she 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 never thought about it she went to us she came back and she she found out that oh wow that person is gone they have thrown out of the society that's that's where i would say that you know um, you have everywhere your f uh, favor will be there and uh, the god will there to protect you shield you from everything so just rest assured and i would also say that Long back ago, I gave a testimony about, you know, giving different interviews, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, uh, I, 
I, I gave some rounds and I just, uh, I just told that if it is going to work out, it will work out. If it is not, it will never work out. And it never worked out. So I, I said it's for the good that it never worked out. So um, what happened was, um, you know, there was this, uh, my manager who, who is, sits in London. And uh, she, I mean, uh, we never gel well, and I, that's the reason I started giving interviews for the different uh, company, okay? She was there for seven years, and she was causing, causing a hindrance or whatever in going for me going to the next level. So then, then I said that, okay, nothing is happening, I'll just rest, I, I won't do anything, I'll just rest, okay? She put down her papers. After like being in seven to eight years in a company and she causing a hindrance to my next level, going to a next level, you know, she not allowing my name to put to the next level and etc. She, she only left the company. So this is where I would say that, you know, anything, everywhere, there will be a shield, there will be a protection. You just have to rest. You don't have to worry. You don't have to run behind him because when I was giving an interview over there, I cleared five rounds, okay? HR told me that this job is from 9 to 6. And I am working currently in 12.30 to 9.30 job. And this was exactly where Rohan used to work, like next building. So I said, this was never told to me. I won't work 9 to, 9 to 6.30 for me to come from Washi to Goregao. Uh, going, it will be the same hours. I won't, I won't work. If, if you want, uh, this was not never discussed. And this is what it is. If you want, I will come on this timings itself. Otherwise, I'm not going to work. So he, she never come up. And that's the reason God had, you know, protected from me by some, my manager, you know, she was supposed to resign and she, he knew that, you know, I'll protect and I'll shield you and I'll give you this favor. So this is how you have to rest and take, take care and, you know, be in the word. Listen to the word and be in the word. Uh, then, Revelation 21.5, yeah, no, 21.7, yeah. He who overcome shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Today, everyone talked about inheritance, right from heaven to Priya to everyone, okay? What we are saying, we are the inheritance of the same blood, okay? We, uh, every, everything in creation is made for you. We are entitled to inherit all those things. Knowing that we are the part of the finished work, all sickness, sorrow were taken at the cross. We are entitled to get good things in life, in prosperity, health, etc. Just knowing that we are the fathered sons. Uh, moving on to Revelation uh, 21.5. Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write for those words are true and fruitful. Okay, so what this word says is that rest, behold, stay put, so rest and he will make all things new in your life. Wait, wait patiently and everything will fall into the favor. So it, it's saying that you believe in my timings, the, the word is saying you believe in my timings, okay. Work and work for those words are to be true and faithful. So. Uh, I would say in this how this happened was uh, when Priya called and when Rishi called, I was like, okay, um, I have to, you know, talk about it. Rohan was like, are you sure? Are you going to, s are you going to talk? And this is exactly after the Sunday church and Rishi is calling. So I thought it's maybe because of, you know, the next weekend that uh, we are going and that's the reason he's calling me because we had some discussion, Rohan and I had discussion with Rishi and I thought maybe Rishi is calling for that reason and I said, oh, it's not Rishi, it's Priya. I said, what happened? He's like, okay, you, you, uh, you know, this is about SLS, Sun Leading Sons and uh, you, you can speak on the next Sunday. I said, yeah, okay. And one was like, really sure? I said, yeah. And then, um, then it's like, you know, I had um, now currently I'm having a too much of work pressure in my office. Okay. So every day it's from, you know, around 11 a.m. till night 1 a.m. Okay. And um, uh, Ron was like, uh, 
do you think you are going to get time about you know reading and you know writing and you know searching and you know talking about the word on sunday church i said yeah i will do it and i was very confident about it you know i will do it so he was like okay as as per you and as and as days are going okay and rishi is also messaging me okay uh today 11 pm oh, it's, 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 everything worked out you know it was father telling me that you have to go and speak it was not like you know it's just son telling you know you have to speak at the church and you you, you need to say what you what your favors and what are your blessings are so everything you know everything was in place uh, rishi also messaged okay will 11 pm work for you to talk about uh, you know word i said perfect i'll reach home by 10:30 10:45 10 from my workplace and 11 pm would be perfect we spoke and then i i started you know writing uh, a little bit and then i was like okay i have to work also okay i'll write a word and i'll search i used to search a little bit uh, you know open bible and search and you know and then um, i was like yeah uh, ron actually too much of work pressure is having and i also want to concentrate on what i want to speak on today on the sunday's uh, church so um, okay uh, let's see what will happen and and there's one intern who has joined in our company okay everybody is working till 1 am every single day from my team this intern is coming and telling me i am free do you want to give me work i said obviously please take my work i want to concentrate on my word <laughs> so you please take my work and i'll concentrate on work that's where you know he helped me and i concentrated on what i wanted to speak it was you know it was father who was telling me that you had to lead and this is where i'll give you time to you know speak about it and you will you will speak on sunday so it was everything came in place and i i am standing here right now and speaking this yes thank you so much thank you nirmi so blessed not only we heard father also heard the sons and so much of life and uh, i'll get the ipad here so every time when i'm at sunday service or wednesday i look at jigar and he smiles and looks at me and i'm like is something something there <laughs> but he smiles back to me like all good so that's so rest that we all are connected and is all good in rest in father so who uh, who is rest yes i got my answer what i wanted to hear jesus is rest and we are rest jesus is peace and we are peace too it's so good to know that we rest in father we have a heavenly father who loves us and um, even something i learned today before i start uh, going to the word um that resting is relying on to someone leaning on lean on and that's what jesus when he came in flesh the word became flesh he said come who all who labor i will give you rest so either you are in christ in rest or you are not in christ not in rest there is no gray area between right father is very thoughtful about you he called you you heard him and when father calls son he hears that's the start that's where everything changed for all of us when jesus came through another son or maybe father coming asking you to look on to youtube social media world right now go and see beloved sermons it's father's plan for all of us and he says i give you rest so let him give and we receive we receive vouchers gifts i hear vinisha saying so get so many gifts dresses especially receive it's free and jesus is the only thing in the world which is free go anywhere in the world any country different language it doesn't matter it's free the rest all things are materialistic and will ask you but he is the one who says 
I came to give you life, life more abundantly. So let's get into the word and read Matthew 11, 27. All things have been delivered to me by my father and no one knows the son except the father. So he knows everything about you, what you want because you are his son by blood of Jesus. Not just relationship that your earthly parents gave you birth, but we are one with father in spirit. Nor does anyone know the father except the son and the one to whom the son wills to reveal him. That's what Jesus did. Son did reveal to all of us. We are sons. He is a son. He is a greater son, but one with us and leading us. He is our like brother, our brethren, leading us into all truths every day. Verse 28, come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So what is this labor? Labor is any work you do in the world to achieve something that you will get uh, some fruits out of it or work, but it's all work. You labor towards it and are heavy laden under the Old Testament that you have to earn, you have to work, it's a law. But we are this side of the cross now, finished. It is finished. All law was finished at the cross. Law ended at cross. If you want to be, you can be, still live in the law. But when you know there is a bigger car waiting, a bus waiting for you, taking you to retreat, beloved retreat, why you want to be just at one place? Father wants you to take you to a much better place and he wants to make you rest when you are leaning on him. So more you lean on him, rest in him, he is working in your life. If you work, he will rest because he is always at rest. Before the foundation of the world, after he made the world, he is at rest. So let him work, let him work and we rest and more to receive. Not in just one area, he says inheritance is yours. You are the heir. We are the heir. Not just one area, finance, but it's going to be in all the areas of your life. Further, he says, take my yoke upon you and le learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. So what is transforming right now is our souls. And that's why the word says, we have the mind of Christ, Paul said. I have the mind of Christ, we have the mind of Christ because we are living spiritually, we received the Holy Spirit and Holy Spirit is transforming our soul. And, we, and how it's transforming? By co-laboring with the Holy Spirit. Not messaging someone asking for prayers, really good to hear from Benny that you are being set free, no more prayer request, but you are teaching them how to pray. That's what Son does, that's what Jesus came to show what is our relationship with Father. He didn't come to start religion and pray and ask for, if there is an emergency. There is no emergency for sons and today's word is on rest. So we rest in Father. And if we are in Father, in Christ, we are rest too and covered by the blood, holy of holy. So very important to know your identity and it's not you are becoming a son, you are a son born by the blood of Jesus. And lay further he says, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So if you take effort to come to the church, the yoke is easy, burden is light. It's not, uh, uh, you are not feeling the burden that I have to wake up early morning. I know we sons uh, start, some sons we start early morning uh, tech team comes here, blessed with the tech team here, who starts early every Sunday for all the sons coming here. And uh, we are so blessed. Yes, I agree with sons who shared that beloved is blessed. And I would say so much fathered, so much father, that's the word, fathered, that he's doing everything. Three years back, Priya was editing these sermons. <laughs> and when today Jesus does, and uh, he's so, 
he, uh, sometimes, uh, like of course we, are, we have responsibilities and sometimes there are tech things. Sometimes you use some words which you shouldn't in the summons and we have to cut them, we have to edit them. And uh, Priya used to do it by own, that's pure grace, wisdom. And now we come to know how, l l how much it can take of time. But it's all fathered, it's all rest, it's all rest. So anything you do, it's in rest. I would like to read the another version of uh, Matthew 11:28, which is TPT version. I know we are used to NKJV, but there is TPT and PPT version we get every Sunday, every Wednesday. Rest. So let's read that TPT version, uh, Matthew chapter 11:28 to 30. Are you weary, carrying a heavy burden? Come to me. He is calling. We are his sons. He is calling. Come to me. I will refresh your life, for I am your oasis. Simply join your life with mine. That's where we abide. When we receive the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ is his son. He died for our sins. We receive the Holy Spirit. We just got simply joined with him. Learn my ways and you will discover that I am gentle, humble, easy to please. Yeah, he is very easy to please. Just, just smile and he is pleased with you. Trust him. Receive his love. You will find refreshment and rest in me. For all that I require of you will be pleasant and easy to bear easy to bear. So what is asking us just to trust him, rest in him and he is doing everything. That's the beauty. In the world they will ask you to do everything and you will burn very. But here father is so good that he is doing everything in you. You just have to rest, trust and that's why it says it takes labor to rest and sons only labor to rest. We don't labor, sweat. The curse was there on Adam but Christ set us free and we became blessing. He was cursed on the tree. If we believe Adam was cursed and because of him we were cursed, we also believe the truth which came later. Christ came to reveal that he became cursed, that we are blessing. Anywhere in the world you go, you will be blessing. Further, let's read Hebrews 4 verse 9. There remains, before, uh, there remains therefore a rest for the people of God. Who are the people of God? We, sons of God. For he who has entered his rest has himself also ceased from his work as God did from his. So God finished work, the world, seven days he rested and we also rested in him and ceased from all the work, all the work of this world. So we live spiritually, we walk also spiritually, we are spiritual beings, new creation in Christ. Galatians 3 verse 13, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us, for it is written, cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. And it's not our faith, it's Jesus' faith in us, who is alive in us, the greater one. He who lives in us is greater than he who is in the world, in the world. So that's our biggest rest, that we don't have to do anything, it's him doing everything. Even if you goof up, mess up, the blood is so, so holy to wash any of the sins but we use wisdom father because we are the word jesus became flesh the word became flesh and came and shared so when when people were seeing jesus on this earth he 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 was looking like man came in flesh like all of us but what he was doing that draw everyone was the word what he was speaking and his nature was drawing everyone. So that's in us now, the, we are the word, living word. What we have received here at Beloved, walking not like as sons of God, 
we are the sons of God, of living God, of the Most High. And uh, before we end to Galatians 4, uh, just to share, because Jesus died at cross, we receive all inheritance by blood. What I have seen um, as a blessing in my whole life, and I'm sure you have the same Father, we share the Heavenly Father, we all have blessings in all the area, because it's inheritance, not just one area. So relationships, my relationship with my earthly parents grew like budding, blooming. And it's what love I received, we receive, we share with parents, with our family, with our friends and everyone. So I'm, I'm more like, uh, the relationship has life, that's what I can say, with my uh, parents, which was not there earlier. They come like kids to me, asking for wisdom. Because it's Christ in me, Father in me, and it's their journey their revelation of our Father revealing more and more to them. So let's not restrict ourselves that away from family or friends. Uh, Jesus was everywhere and He knew who He is. So we are anywhere in the world, we are light. Sons of light, we're going to shine and the darkness is going to flee. So wherever you are, be the light. And uh, it's not always you have to quote the word, but just who you are. Father is using all of us in different ways. We have different skills, talent, gifts. Use them. There is a reason behind them why Father has made you like that. Born of Him. And He's living in us. He likes to play guitar through Kevin, sing through Hebron. And we got uh, Vidya also now and through drums through me. So everyone has a purpose which we walk in and Father is doing everything and that's on the relationship. Finances, um, very much blessed, uh, started tithing regularly over the last two years, encouraging everyone, even if it's a small, big amount, doesn't matter. You, we have everything what we need for the day and tomorrow is already taken care by the Father who has been so good till the date, He's going to be the same Father. He's the same Father and we are the same sons. And the blood is also the same. So, very blessed with finances. I have two team members. Uh, they are hardworking people. Uh, someone told me yesterday, you are very blessed with your team because I'm coming here, giving my time, sowing that time to Jesus. Anything I do, anyone I speak is giving time to, and anything you do for the church also is to Jesus. So, very much encouraged. Uh, by that and I, I like to do that. It's Father's nature. I'm letting Him work in me and we all are, le are letting Him work in all of us. Anywhere you go, you are sharing life with others. And because we are life-giving, yes, 100 out of 100, yes. And next, health. Health, um, I, I had high cholesterol before coming to the kingdom, had an encounter with Priya or Jesus one. And uh, she told me, your heavenly father loves you, set free. All the walls of custom, tradition, uh, community, religion did break and got saved. And after that, I never had that pill. I was like, I don't know who you are. <laughs> and never went back and checked also. Because living by faith, nature, that's what uh, I have seen. I, I, I really like, I really enjoy that, how he has changed me. If you, meet, if you would have met me three, four years back, I would be very angry young man. I'm, I'm just young now. Angry has gone. <laughs> and uh, I was very fussy about the food, what my mom used to make. Like, I want this, salty, this, go out, uh, very foody. But now, I'm, I'm, I, I have the living waters flowing out of me and when I come here receiving the word from you all and what Heavenly Father has prepared. So the nature changed. That's where I uh, had the opportunity to share like Father, like Son. Everything in the Son is all about the Father and that's why Father is Father because He is doing everything for you. You are not doing anything by your own but with the Father what He has for you working in you, towards you. So that's what I've been observing and uh, last Wednesday, praising Father, we got a really good revelation of R&R. &R. Resting by not reacting. Because we died, we died, so why we react? 
why we react and uh, yeah i do get some messages sometimes i wouldn't say from sons and i feel like reacting i feel like <laughs> reacting but then holy spirit reminds me uh, i'm not saying from sons okay i just get messages uh, i feel like reacting but christ in me asking me to rest rest yeah and a very beautiful illustration um so when we all have been ho at hospital in past not f in past maybe for ourselves for others but now not for ourselves because we are having resurrection and life through holy spirit so if you see in hospital in icu they have a um, meter um to monitor the heart beats yeah. and uh, people for the world it's there has to be a line going up and down has to be then they say it is life but for the wo for for the kingdom we died so it always going to be flat <laughs> always is going to be flat you don't want that life right going up and down because that's the world the world wants that but we don't want that we died it's always flat always flat and even if you check right now if you see if you see up and down we live by faith not by what we see so see yourself died and r i p resting in peace resting by not reacting so that this the word today was already planned by father next wednesday where last last wednesday when we all came together and so much of increase uh, it's father's way sls so three years we we have been co-laboring receiving righteousness foundation love sonship and it's father taking us to next level which is sls sons leading sons and i was at rest always at rest 11 12 in the night after speaking with nirmi uh, i started my word i didn't knew what i was i just knew the first uh, word uh, jesus was cursed he has redeemed us from the curse that was the only word i knew but few other words just had to spend some time ask him the weight is not on you because we are seated as uh, elister uh, near me shared we are seated in christ dwelling in christ the holy of holies and we receive all is love and let him be father what he wants to do in our life so that's it so blessed <laughs> by receiving and by sharing and uh, we going to have this more often we going to be having next sunday so keep your eyes on your mobile you will be called for that <laughs> message and all sons who like to share testimonies longer you will have your chance here when christ call you and it can be 15 20 minutes then no stopping on one minute testimonies so yes get ready get excited we are beloved sons of god yeah over to you pp so how many loved that so refreshing right and you can hear the holy spirit but it's the same voice but it's not coming from pp anymore the same voice from other sons in other flavors how lovely i was so ministered i loved what alister shared about rest is relying on i love that goodness and mercy will always follow you in rest that psalm 91 you're protected in rest and then what rishi was sharing you're redeemed everything is in rest and i realize the end of everything is that in rest when you rest you're actually allowing him to be father because he wants to be father he wants to take the weight from you that come to me all you have weary and laden and i want to be your father i will give you rest and so when you rest literally when we were sharing what rishi was saying on wednesday uh, we were discussing our, that that's why r and r came rest no reacting rest by not reacting r and r rest and refreshing no it's rest by not reacting okay and uh, we were talking about the hospital i said yeah no people get excited to see up and down up and down but we don't want up and down up because it goes down also and up and down but in christ rest is actually a flat line constant is because when you're constant now his life can flow so there's actually no reaction reaction is this a dead person has no reaction just flat 
so we get happy god is telling you just be flat line so then all of his life can flow in rest okay i want you to give a big hand to all the three sons so i want uh, i want the son come on alistair you're going to do this thank you father for this word that you have spoken through us and we take uh, this word and we lift up a spiritual tie to you thank you father and let's just praise him thank him speak in tongues in amara and we we give, we give this to our high priest lord jesus christ amen father we are sons in your kingdom jesus christ you are a high priest our king and we give you a spiritual tithe of all the increase of all the life revelation you brought to all of us through sons sons leading sons we thank you father for this opportunity for this revelation and it is yours way how you want father we we thank you father and we receive all your love in jesus name oh yara basto yara basho